Good evening, afternoon, daytime, morning, whatever time of day you are watching this. Um, it is me, Louise21. So disorganised for this podcast. No, that's just me trying to do a dramatic intro. Intro. Yeah, anyway. So, I've got another podcast planned for you guys. I'm going to make sure I'm near enough to the mic. In the right position. Of course, it's on all platforms. Audio and on YouTube as well. So either way, enjoy this video. And yeah, I've got a lot planned. A lot's gone on. A lot has happened since I've been on here last time. I think you remember last time I mentioned all the decorating we're going through and all that. And on one of my videos, well, that's all done. So in that sense, we're clear. We're home free. Um, we're just redoing, you know, putting up all the pictures all the blinds, everything back on the walls. And then we're going to decorate for Christmas. I've been getting in that Christmas spirit. Though it doesn't much feel like it. But yeah, we'll get onto that later on. So yeah, what I want to cover today is... Uh, YouTube Rewind, what a mess that was. Deji versus KSI. And all the diss tracks involved. There's so much more, guys. Um, I'm going to stop moving for once because... That's probably annoying. Um, but yeah... I've got it all, all in front of me here. I'm probably going to forget most of it and forget something. But whatever it is, thank you guys for joining me. I will be in the right position to actually not move again. But yeah, I got you got to be comfortable, you know. I've got this amazing chair that does all these things. Uh, might as well use it. Um, yeah, so I'm getting a better mic. So you'll be pleased to know. That there will be a better mic soon. Better than this one. Because this is just... Average. It's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Um, yeah, I look a bit purple, don't I? I left the TV on. And whatever's on the TV is purple. Okay. It doesn't bother me if it doesn't bother you. Purple's a nice colour anyway. So yeah, podcast for... There's a lot. There's a lot going on. And I'll get into all that later. Got a lot to cover with the, the Deji KSI story. But yeah, how's things with you guys? All good? Um, I'm Gianluca Luizzi. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome anyway. What's up guys, how you doing? So yeah, on YouTube, uh, you'll be seeing this as well. It's just, for the sake of it, I'm not going like, to edit in detail. This is a podcast. Um, but... I'm going to be doing more podcast clips and making them into little videos. Like certain things, subjects I'm talking about. Like the KSI Deji thing, that needs a whole video. But I will talk about it in the podcast anyway. I mean, I have difficulties dividing the two. Like deciding what to put in the podcast and what to do as a, as a vlog. Um, if you have seen my latest vlog, thank you because that, that was uh, really good. I had some great feedback from a lot of you. So I'm just happy that, that it went the way it did. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot that goes into these videos. It's not just filming and editing. Like, you've got to think about the layout and everything that goes into it. And what's going to go where. Like, it, that took me a while. And to be honest, that, that Al Pacino quote, that video clip, I've always been watching that, and I was watching that before this weekend, just to get me in in the mood for football, power chair football. Many videos I've done, that's probably one of the, the ones I'm more proud of. Um, and last year there was a, a friend of mine, his colleagues from uni, they made a movie all about me at power chair football, and that was like really professionally made. But again, I was giving them advice, and they were giving me advice on just how to shoot video and, and, and make a video movie, in that case, documentary. And, but even though I'm on YouTube, I still, they still, like, took on board what I was saying to them, even though they're film students. And I never studied film, but I'm on YouTube, so that'll do for me, that'll do. And... No, um, hopefully more views on that. More of you will see it after I've told you. Um, so yeah. 
sound of my voice and you can put a face to a name with this. <laughs> so yeah, over the weekend I was in Nottingham playing pouch of football. And I, I do this six weekends of the year. We started in October. We had another, we had, no, we had two in October. Well, one, two weeks ago. And this one, so it's been a lot of uh, up and down. And with our car breaking down the other week, we didn't know how we were going to get there. But we got there in the end. And it was a great weekend. Played one of my best games. The one that you saw in the vlog. And so, yeah, I don't think it's just football. It's a social thing too with the whole team. And we always have a good time. I've I've never... Well, sometimes you have those days where you're like, oh, I've got to get up early, got to go there. But once you get there, you love it. And then by, by the end, you're like, why is it ending? I don't want this to end, you know. Obviously, you get home knackered, but we give our all as a team. And I don't need to say any more of that. The video says it all. It says it all. I mean, you, all the other teams, like, they do the same. They, they've, I don't know, maybe they don't have as much fun as we do. I don't know each team, like, the layout. But socially, we have a good time. Um, it's not always been like that. It's not always been as closely knit, but a lot of these teammates of mine, when I first started 10 years ago, they were there with me and they, some of them were already there. And so we've grown as individuals, as friends, outside the sport, not just in the sport, and as other, uh, other events, other charities that are connected to disability and to the sport. We've met through them as well. So the, there's loads of avenues that we can, you know, a lot of us are Spurs season ticket holders. So we go to Wembley all the time. So on the weekend I was there in Nottingham. We went up Saturday morning. I missed the first game again like last time. Because everyone else was able to be at the venue at 8.30 or 9 or whatever it was for a 9.15 kickoff because they stayed overnight but we didn't because of like not being able to, simply my brother's working late Fridays and why we're going to drive up there at 10 at night you know it's always more traffic Friday night but yeah I don't need to explain that anymore it's just like I feel like I'm making excuses I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually bite this mic in a minute so yeah what we what we did is we got three wins and two losses so out of five games, we did pretty well. But it's always Sunday, and it was Bolton we lost to again. The team we lost 2-0 to last time. And they were amazed too, because there's teams lower down the table that they, they, they can't seem to beat. But they beat us. So, yeah, that game was... I got that on the, vlog, on the GoPro as well. But I didn't put that in the vlog, just because halfway through my, my GoPro stand kind of... Well, the GoPro was kind of facing down couldn't see anything anyway and there's a lot of videos I've got on the channel that will showcase this this sport anyway and me messing up at the time that the GoPro actually fell off my chair as I went to hit the ball so I mean it's a unique sport you never see another sport like it I mean there's normal football and stuff like that but this is just it's a different level of, uh, not a different level, but like, different feeling to any, any other sport. And very aggressive. Anyway, on the weekend, yeah, so, we won three, we lost two. Out of five, that puts us third though. Third in the championship, and the top two go straight up. Third place has to do a playoff. And if they lose, they stay down. If they win, they go up. The other team you'll play against, if we stay third, that is, or it, you know, we might we might finish second. Um, but if we stay third, we play the tenth place team from the Premiership because in the Premiership two go straight down, two go straight up, tenth plays third. If you know what I mean. So that that'll be interesting. It, I mean, it gives both teams a chance, but it's unfair to put it down to one game. It's really unfair. I've been there before and we won. And I scored. <laughs> 2012, I think that was. 
and that was the day I finished at college, or if you like, or sixth form, and everyone was out partying, but I, I went to Nottingham and won a game, and a celebration, I haven't had many celebrations like that since, maybe last year when I scored against my ex-team, but since that day, I mean, what it meant for us to stay up that year, and at the time my dad was coach, so it was like, it was just like, he did a Mourinho down the touchline as always. So yeah, now I've explained that, if you get any of that. We were, we wanted to win the league, but second is, is more likely, or third. So, it was, it was a great weekend to, just to be part of it, and it's, it's now the Christmas break. So, this weekend we've got the Christmas party, but the, the season is at the midway point, we restarts in February or March, after the snow, hopefully. I remember last year we had to cancel one because the snow came so late in the year. It was like April. So yeah, decorations at home are not up. I mean, this weekend we were so big, we, were, we were there in Nottingham, so it's not like anyone could do anything at home in terms of putting everything back on the walls and decorating. I haven't got a tree yet. We need to get a tree. But I did I did start Christmas shopping. And Yeah, you know what it's like with Christmas shopping. You you got that thing where you got Amazon, it's just so easy. Just use Amazon. I mean I don't know if any of you use Amazon Prime, but I got stuck in that once and I got a bill of like ninety quid at the end of the year. Because I, I didn't realise I signed up for it. I was like, yay, I'm getting these items free delivered to my house. Uh, but now it's just like, continue without trial, please. I'm w- willing to pay whatever it is, delivery, as long as I don't get Amazon Prime by mistake. Um, big scam, big scam. But some people get so stressed out around Christmas. Um, but, you know, I, I want to talk about Christmas, but there's a lot of people that don't get a proper Christmas. So we're all like moaning about these simple things. Oh, I don't know what to get this person and that person. Some people don't have that luxury anyway of getting anything or being able to be in a position where they can buy other people presents. And it's not just this time of year, it's all round, you know, the homelessness. They talk about it now more than ever because it's cold. But what about the rest of the year? I mean, a lot of homeless people get, people turn away when they see, you know, they don't want to address this issue because it's such a big issue. And people think that on their own, they can't solve it, but it's not about that. You've got to do one act of kindness and then other people will follow. If you see a homeless person, don't, you know, don't completely ignore them. Help them in some way, you know, but it doesn't mean you have to go out and house them. You know, some homeless people don't want to be helped in that sense. Um, but like, just be nice to people, not just at Christmas. I mean, we're all like, oh, yay, Christmas time of, like, happiness and whatever. But not everyone gets that. I mean, some people don't spend Christmas with their families. Maybe because they don't want to or they don't have them. Very different circumstances. But, you know, even with strangers, you've got, you've got to be just as nice. Like, yeah, we all argue with family at Christmas and it's depressing and there's those moments. But you try and enjoy what you've got. Because there's other people that got even less. And there's always guilt. Like for me, eating Christmas dinner, I just feel guilt. Knowing someone else hasn't got the same luxury. Um, but yeah, Christmas shopping, I do most of it on Amazon. Not that I buy that many presents for people. Doesn't make me uh, the Grinch, does it? I, I don't think it does anyway. I just don't, you know, go into that much detail with presents. When I was younger, yeah, Christmas cards. My dad still writes Christmas cards to send to all his family in Italy. And that, that's fun for them to get Christmas cards from us. It's like a yearly thing. My dad, when he first came here, he's been here like more than like 30 years. So when he first came here, he was always writing letters home, sending Christmas cards. That was the only way. Now you've got WhatsApp, Skype, all these different methods. It makes it a lot easier, but there's no fun in it in that sense. That's why my dad still writes cards. Because you want to get something that you can hold. Like a 
you know, when you get a proper present. But, um, yeah, just think about that at Christmas. Um, I'm not saying feel guilty, like, I'm not trying to say that at all. But just acts of kindness go a long way. It makes a big difference. Um, instead of just being like the rest of the world. Because there's a lot of people that don't care. Like, homeless per- people, people are going to see them and not care. I mean, sometimes there's risk involved, you don't know. I mean, people always associate homelessness with drinks and drugs, but that's not always the case. They just need someone to talk to. Like, some people get a bit uh, intimidated. Yeah, maybe you do, but it's just acts of kindness because they're probably more scared of you. But I'm, I'm saying this, like, don't don't take it the wrong way. You know, I, I don't... I can't speak for, for anyone. So, just saying it from my point of view, really. I mean, I've got a lot of family coming over this Christmas. So, more than ever, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a happy time. I'm so excited. And this podcast is going in a different direction to what I planned on paper. I mean, I keep looking in and seeing what I've got. But I need to speak from the heart, you know. That makes a good podcast. Whether it's going well or not, I don't know. Thank you guys for all joining me anyway. And we're 16 minutes in. i got family coming from Milan and other places in Italy. From all over, really. Um, It's good to have a big family. Well, it is. It's difficult at the same time. It doesn't always make it easy. Because, you know, you've got to try and please everyone. No, I mean, like, try and... Give everyone equal attention. Oh. But it's... It's, um... It's always crazy at Christmas. We eat too much. Eat way too much. Way too much food. But that's what you do at Christmas. A time of giving as well. And has anyone seen this, um... This YouTube Rewind thing is just... It's crazy. Right now, I'm not meant to be talking about that yet. No, first I got the music review. But before that, right now... Let's talk about Brexit. No. No. But that's all that's been in the news. Because I've got a bit here when I've written... Where I've written, like... In the news this week. There's nothing in the news this week. Nothing at all. Apart from... Brexit. Um, do you want to talk about it? I don't want to talk about it. Whether you want to talk about it or not. I don't know. So. Music review. I need sound effects, don't I? Bum, bum, bum. Don't know how many sound effects you can use on the podcast. Trying not to get done for copyright or whatever it is. Um, guys, you wouldn't believe just what happened. I literally got blocked out on my phone, didn't I? Then I'm like, oh, I forgot my password. No, I didn't. But you know how it is when you're, like, rushing to type it in and it goes wrong? Because after a certain amount of time, it you can't use your thumbprint anymore and it goes, give me your password. As if I ever trusted the phone. <laughs> um, but yeah, Brexit. Who cares? No, wait, wait, I'm going on to the music review, aren't I? Music review. So, this never seems to go away. And every week on a podcast, I do mention the 1975. They're one of my favourite bands. Not my favourite band, though, but one of my favourite. It just seems like they're my favourite at the moment. At the moment, probably. Listening to their music a lot. Pardon me. A lot. (laughs) Before I just rudely burped, but yeah. I didn't actually burp, so... Those of you who are actually paying attention... Uh, you probably don't even, wouldn't even notice. Uh, it's more noticeable in the video than the audio. In the audio, it's just a bit weird. Like, all these beeps and buttons I'm pressing on my chair. It's like, what? So, yeah, 1975. They've been doing acoustic versions of all of their songs. Paris, 102, Be My Mistake. Be My Mistake is from their new album. Paris... Anyway, it wasn't originally acoustic, but the other two were already, I think. It's just like he re-recorded them in a room 
when it's on video, Matt, Matt Healy, he just performed them live in a room. Uh, Paris featuring the rest of the band. He also did 102, was already an acoustic song. Originally, that is anyway. I mean, it was the first time I'd heard 102 the other day, 102, whatever he calls it. It's quite, a, it's very melancholy, I'll be honest. We recorded from years ago, five years ago. I mean, it's a sad song, but I like it. It's it's a good one. It it makes you think about life, about not wasting time. I mean, I've got to listen to it again, and a few times more, because it's so good. Then Be My Mistake is from the latest album. It's another sad song, but it's kind of melancholy. Like... A love song or a song about a love that could have been. It's hard to tell, but it's melancholy for sure. So while we are here, I have some other music to talk about. But yeah, that is it for 1975. Of course they released... Wait. You know that video, what's it called? Sincerity is scary. I think I already mentioned that. Last time, yeah. They've got a few new videos, 1975. Do check them out. They're doing well at the moment. And did I tell you guys I'm going to see Muse live in June at the Olympic Stadium? Amazing. Can't wait for that. They've got a new album. They're going to be playing. Amazing. I'm so buzzing for that. Me and my mate Dan are going to that. So, yeah, anyway, another song. I mean, moving on. I don't know if this is a real song or what. Uh, Jaden Smith, Will Smith's son, if you didn't already know. He's got a new song, it's called Goku. Like, tribute to Dragon Ball Z character. And if you watch the video, it animates in the the Dragon Ball thing that they do when they use their powers, I can't remember. I was a big fan of Dragon Ball Z. If any of you remember that, it's like a cartoon. If you're a geezer, you probably will remember it, will, will have liked it more. I don't know. It's like one of them... You know, when you're that age and you're just, like, obsessed with violence. Like, that, like, superpowers and stuff. This is before, like, before Avengers movies or whatever you have now. Credit to Avengers. <laughs> Marvel, all them. So, yeah, Jaden Smith has a new song called Goku. And he's a unique guy. He is, his style, everything. And I think, when I think about his career and how he's learned from his dad, I mean, in Pursuit of Happiness... This is a speech that Will Smith gives him, like, don't let anyone tell you what you're doing is wrong or to do some, to do what everyone else is doing. Don't let anyone steal your dreams or anything like that. And he's certainly done that, and he's got his own style, Jaden, and he's been in many films already. Um, he's pursuing the singing, the rapping game, which is quite good. He's getting better. I mean, Icon, that song is just, it's really good, I'll be honest. And you may have heard it in Creed 2 when he uh, came out the first time he fought the, the Russian. If you noticed that in the film. Um, so yeah, Dragon Ball Z. He must have watched it as a kid as well. But yeah, so Pursuit of Happiness. It seems to have... That speech seems to have... Um, he, he, he been used in his real like everyday life like from that. I mean, to act with your kid in a film is good. Imagine being that kid, being Jaden and acting, and your dad's there, like this big Hollywood star. Well, you don't see him as that, you see him as your dad. But still, it's like, for him, at the time, it might not have felt like a movie. It might have felt like bonding time with his dad. Work. <laughs> if you can call it work. But yeah, check out the video. Uh, they animated the bits in from Dragon Ball. I'd, well, I... I'd, I'd, it's pretty good. They could have made the whole thing cartoon, like, in the style of Dragon Ball, but... Yeah, if you haven't seen Dragon Ball, you won't get it at all. You'd be like, what is this crazy video? What am I watching? Don't worry, though. What Jaden is wearing in the video, apparently, it's style. Well, it's his style. Um, well, that jacket's kind of... Style three sizes is way too big. Sick jacket, though. It's like, get clothes that fit you. I mean, what is this? 
Um, that is it. And that, I mean, with style nowadays, it's just whatever you make it, your own style. There's no style. There's your own path. And yeah, he's definitely pursuing his own path. He's not going in under the shadow of his dad or anything, which is good to see. I mean, they're a famous family. Let's just say that. So it's not easy to to do all that. And I've just seen Will Smith's latest video, and he was um was talking about like he loves being famous. They were asking him like, "Would you be famous? Or would you trade it for a normal life?" He said, "No, you know, I, I love being famous." He says. I mean, he said the fame really started when, after Fresh Prince, because like, at the time they all called him Will, and then when he went to the premiere of Independence Day, they called him Mr. Smith. And I was like, wow, I'm moving up in the world. And when you get a day like that, it's just amazing. I mean, I've I've been called by my surname before, it's fun. It makes you feel professional, like you're actually doing something with your life. <laughs> like, yes, that's me, yeah, I'm the boss. <laughs> someone someone said that to me the other day, like in the hotel actually in Nottingham, coming out the lift, alright boss, it's gotta be the moustache in it. I don't know, but that was quite funny. <laughs> then I saw him at breakfast after and it was like awkward. It's like, hey, oh it's you. No. <laughs> but yeah, that's just reminded me in Nottingham. I didn't say with with the, the alcohol we consumed. Probably not good before a match. Probably why we lost both on Sunday, but we all just had a few drinks, a few gins. Um and that that was that's always fun. But yeah, so football. Oh, football news, yeah. This is fun this week, it's crazy. So yeah, Madrid lose to CSK Moscow. Three nil or three one or something. They had so many kids playing, I mean, not even Ramos started the game. I mean it's that stage when you're resting because you're ready through. But not even Ramos started the game. And they had some kid on the right called Vivicus Jr. or something. Some Brazilian kid. He's a future star. I mean, I only know because I got him on my FIFA career mode on on my one of my teams. And he's just sick. Sick Brazilian talent. He's still young though. I mean, we always talk about young players and then they get pressure on them. So it's not really fair. But yeah, Tottenham... Didn't beat Barcelona, but we drew 1-1 and we almost beat them. We should have. No one had has won there. Still, still no one's won there. We almost did it. I mean, we didn't lose. And a lot of people said it was a very good performance from a foreign team in the new Camp. I'll tell you what, though. If you remember Inter Milan when they won the Champions League. Now, they played them at, at home and did we, I think we beat them. And that was a crazy game and we went through... That's when Mourinho was in charge of Inter Milan. And who was in charge? Guardiola was in charge of Barcelona at the time. And Mourinho was a lot better as a manager back then. Guardiola was still young, but still very talented. So it's amazing how things have changed. Mourinho's like dog crap now. United are just terrible. And he's a, and he's a, he's a mess as a manager. So And Guardiola's got a City team that is full of great talent. I'll get onto them in a minute, Leroy Sane in a minute. But yeah, Tottenham got through. Mistake from Walker Peters led to Dembele scoring the first goal. I wasn't happy at all because after that, Walker Peters was trying too hard to make up for it and making more mistakes. Or he was just nervous. I don't know, I haven't seen him play that much. I'll be honest. But yeah, Juve lost. Can you believe that? Juventus. Juventus. <laughs> That's reminding me of a Joe Weller video now. <laughs> when he... <sighs> Internet melts Joe Weller part 9. You've got to watch that. I've got to analyse that video at some point. City. Yeah, so City came from behind. They, um... They were losing. I mean... Penalty for Hoffenheim. Kramerich with a goal. That Croatian player is quite a talent. Um, they came from behind. Free kick from Sane. Wow. Wow. Legendary. And then there's a chance they had at the other end. Sterling breaks free literally all the way. Great pass through the gap to Sane. Sane gives it to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva messes it up. I mean, I've realised what type of player Sterling is. He's a very creative player. 
and I'll get on to about what, what week he's had as well in a second. But yeah, City from behind. Guardiola, you know, you know that's how he does it. That's how he rolls. But United also, also lost. Valencia did a crunching tackle on one of their players. He should have been sent off probably. But yeah, that, that was United being united this season. Ajax and Bayern drew 3-3. They were sending off for both teams. I mean, Muller literally karate kicked someone in the head. By mistake, of course. He didn't mean to karate kick someone in the head. When do you? <laughs> um, and yeah, that, they were both down to 10 men. I forgot who got sent off for Ajax, but that was earlier on anyway. And that was... Yeah, and you remember Tadic from Southampton? Well, he scored two of the goals for Ajax. <laughs> and another great player at Ajax that I've got to talk about is Dolberg up front and Van den Beek in midfield. Some talent they got in the half. But yeah, um, Champions League was fun. It's been fun to watch. Um, but something that's negative that I have to talk about for a second is the Sterling racial abuse at the Chelsea game. The other day, it was just... It's not on. I mean, I saw an interview with Gary Neville saying how Sterling suffered abuse in the past, but he just can't seem to cope with it. Like, normal abuse. But this is just another level. But it's... It's... um. It's not good to see, and I think he on the pitch you see that he's fearful of making mistakes sometimes. And Guardiola's helped him a lot as a player, and he's come on leaps and bounds. And what he does for the team, the creative prowess that he has. People say, oh, he's got to score more goals, this and that. And for England, I mean, nobody criticises Harry Kane, do they? I mean, I'm a Spurs fan, of course I wouldn't, but... I mean, I would, but I'm saying like, it's more targeted to Sterling. And I don't want to get into racism because Chelsea have dealt with that well and got rid of those fans, basically. Um, but football is trying to deal with it. So, I mean, more than other areas. I mean, trying, but there's still issues out there. I mean, I remember Mario Balotelli suffered a lot with criticism and racial abuse and everything. I mean, let, let's divide it, though. There's, there's normal criticism when you play bad, you play bad. But racism should not should not be a part of discussion you know I mean it's 2018 soon to be 2019 but I think it got to him a bit I feel for him but yeah I've been critical of him over the years but in a footballing sense you know what I mean I'm not that you don't go personal with people with this it's football at the end of the day try your hardest if you don't play well you don't play well sometimes and things like that get under other people's skin more than others some you know some people take it differently um but at the time, what could he do? He's in the middle of a game. I mean, whoever said that is just like, grow up, you know? Just grow up. But that's football this week. Same old, same old. <laughs> Always some sort of discussion about someone getting abused in some way. So, yeah, in YouTube news, YouTube Rewind was terrible and got 7 million dislikes. The most disliked thing ever. I mean, they say... One of the best YouTube Rewind videos was the uh, 2013 one. Because it was actually a bit more relevant to what was going on. And a bit more brave and outlandish. Um, and, and of course PewDiePie was in it. Shows him burying the uh, the YouTube symbol. On Brighton Beach, I believe. Is it like they saw the future of the song he made on the beach the other week? Again, the the T-Series diss. It could be. It could be a reference to that. But yeah, so YouTube Rewind, if you're not aware, is like a video that that showcases all the best creators over the year on YouTube. And this year, of course, well, Will Smith should have been on there rightly because he's a talent and he elevates YouTube to another level. Of course, it's unfair on us younger create our small channels, younger channels, little creators. I mean, PewDiePie mentioned it as well. He wasn't even in it. I mean, yeah, may maybe from mistakes he's made. And he admitted he m might be because of that. Because just newspapers and news outlets just don't like PewDiePie. They still think he's a Nazi or something. Or some sort of racist. Like, I don't know. But that's all rubbish anyway. I mean, he should have been in there, you know. Logan Paul, KSI. 
Logan Paul, yeah, he made mistakes. But the fight was one of the biggest things on YouTube this year. You know, I mean, I'm a fan of True Geordie. He was not happy at all not to be in it. You know, he wanted to be a part of this. I mean, not want, he should have been. He should have been in there. I mean, the content he's created. And then you've got some people in there. Michael Dapper's in there. For like, oh, why? It's just a mix of good and bad. Like, Ninja, you're not even on YouTube properly. You just upload your content from Twitter onto YouTube. And then it passes as YouTube. No, mate. No, I just don't. I, I never liked it. Well, I, I no longer like him. At first, then he's just got more annoying and has gone on more of a, a whiny person. Just always moaning. Literally, I mean, PewDiePie mentioned it in his video that um, <laughs> even Tommy Wiseau did a shout out, like, he said he's supporting, uh, um, what's it called? Subscribe to PewDiePie. <laughs> uh, even Logan Paul, talking of Logan Paul. He did a video talking about subscribe to PewDiePie. Pew, PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Just got to say it fast, PewDiePie. Felix's channel. <laughs> subscribe by you here. So yeah, YouTube Rewinds. I'm going off topic again, aren't I? Every time I do this. I love doing this. So YouTube Rewinds. There was loads of Korean creators. Credit to them. The things they mentioned were like... They're like, it was good to talk about depression or something in the video that the things they were saying were like, well, no, they paid you to say that, you know. You're saying stuff that you is on script in front of you. And Casey Knight, that was in there, talking about K-pop. Like, it was the worst way to put Casey in. Poor guy. He's like, well, he, you know, obviously he had to be in it because he's a top creator. But there's so many that weren't, that should have been and could have been. Um... And me, of course. YouTube, what are you doing? You've got the best content right here. And you're not even seeing it. What are you doing? <laughs> it's just wrong. It's just inaccurate as a YouTube rewind. Not that I've watched them over the years all the time. But this is the information I've gathered. And having seen this one. It annoys me a lot. But yeah, mo moving back to subscribe to PewDiePie. Or on to... Like, I've got to do this in order, come on. Keep an order to it. So at an interview, someone asked Tommy Wiseau, director of The Room, by the way, and starring actor. He was asked in an interview, like, do you support, subscribe to PewDiePie in defeating T-Series or whatever? Do you want to help PewDiePie defeat T-Series? He's like, yeah, I support them. I support PewDiePie and all he does. But I don't think he even knew what they were talking about. If you see the clip in PewDiePie's video, Tommy Wiseau doesn't even know what he's on about. He's like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I know exactly who PewDiePie is. But I think he does, but yeah. Moving on. To a, a British YouTuber, Joe Sugg. He was on Strictly Come Dancing, which is a show here. If you're not familiar where they do, where people just dance, like... It's one famous person and a pro dancer, and they have to dance and impress the judges, and they get ratings out of 10, blah, blah, blah. And each week someone gets not voted out or knocked out or whatever. And Joe Saga, a British YouTuber, he was on it, actually, and I think he's probably, he's probably dating that girl he's dancing with. It always ends up that way. I mean, he was asked on the show, like, are you guys a couple? And he couldn't, he couldn't say yes or no. He couldn't put an answer on it. He's like, well, we're good friends... And it was like one of them awkward moments. It was on this morning, I think. Philip Schofield asking the question, you know. And they're like, oh yeah, you definitely, yeah. Definitely not dating, are you? No. But now the big time. Now for the big story of the day. KSI versus Deji. Is it going to be a boxing match? We shall see. There's been so many disses. So many. Um, from both sides. Started when KSI and his side men were doing a Family Feud episode. When KSI's camera cameraman Rudolph Randolph, what is his name? Rudolph. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, he answered the question. It was like name a dead YouTube channel. 
and he goes deji and then everyone just cracked up laughing like someone's like oh no that's family that's family <laughs> ksi just had didn't have much of a reaction really he just couldn't believe he said it <laughs> but was it a dead youtube chat i don't know or was it all a ploy from the beginning did deji play randolph to say that just so it would elevate to the situation it is at now escalate sorry elevate <laughs> Anyway, he answered the question, Deji. <laughs> um, but yeah, in case I didn't seem to defend Deji at the time, I, I didn't see the whole video. Just seen everyone's reaction to it on other channels. But so it, it doesn't even end there, guys. Both Deji and Randolph made diss tracks against each other. I think I think Ru Randolph started it. Rudolph, where is it? Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Let's call him that. <laughs> So Randolph started the um, the the diss tracks, I think, and then Deji started with his, and in the actual diss track, he ended up showing KSI's bank like transaction, saying he paid for Rud Randolph's wedding, Randolph being the cameraman of KSI and part of his crew, like sidemen. So anyway, yeah, KSI didn't like the look of that at all. He was just so angry and he was saying I was disappointed at his mum and dad for letting him do that, him as in his brother. And it was just like, okay, fine, but like, say that in private, like a video about it. So they both made videos. KSI kind of tried to apologise to like, talk Deji down, basically. But he kind of, he practically disowned him in the video. He's like, can't, you know, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he practically, like, did a video, like, in that reaction to the diss track, he would, that was his, his first reaction to the situation, I mean, you got to keep that stuff off the internet, you got to draw a line, so since then, Deji made a diss track on KSI, which surprised me, and wasn't bad, while, of course, the Quadeca one on KSI wasn't terrible, but it wasn't that well, YouTube rappers, how good can they be anyway? But I did like the Quadeco one of KSI. Then KSI made Ares, comparing himself to a god as a rap video. Um, not too bad. Some of the, the things they mentioned were, like, weird. Even in Deji's diss track, he goes hiding like he's Anne, as in Anne Frank. That's, like, a really bad reference to use. And then KSI in his song Ares, he mentioned uh, something about... Madeline is in Madeline McCann, like when he was like during the rap, I was like, okay, these guys are crazy. They're they're similar in that sense. So Deji called his diss track unforgivable. It featured Jallo, Dax, and Crypt. I don't know who any of them are. The war carries on on Twitter. Well, when KSI kind of blocked, completely blocked Deji and all those platforms. But just text your brother and squash the beef. Of course, the Quadeca diss track. I did say at the time it was better, but it's different. I, I, but I just like people mugging off KSI. It's just funny. Then I saw Deji went on Logan's podcast, Impulsive. And I was like, what the hell? How can this happen? First of all, his brother was fighting his brother. Deji wanted to kill Jake Paul, and he was just mugging off half, or KSI did some of the mugging off too, most of it, but I was like, what? That's like, you, technically, Deji has technically betrayed his brother now, and I think KSI was telling him, don't go on this show, don't go on it, because how happy is Logan Paul to have the brother of his, of his mortal enemy that he's going to fight again in Vegas on the show? I mean, that replay... It's going to be crazy, that rematch in Vegas. Can't wait for that. But yeah, so Deji, I mean, lucky Jake weren't there. It would have been a fight. But yeah, you got Deji on the show. So it, it, it's really hard to to say how real it was. How real it is, this beef, to be honest. But anyway, Logan got him on the show and they discussed a lot of it and there definitely is evidence of the brothers having fallen out over the years, and it's not just been that, it's been 
leading up to this. I mean, Deji did go far to say that. As far as to say that KSI is like really selfish and never goes and sees the family, his mum and dad. Um, if he does, he doesn't want Deji there apparently. And it's building to been building to this for quite a while now. It's just a shame that it has to come to this, and it's all coming out online, on the internet. It's not something that should happen. But Deji seems to say that, seems to think that KSI has no understanding of any other way to do it without using the internet. Because it is making them money at the same time, but it's a family feud, come on. Of course, Deji did show that bank transaction, or like KSI's bank, bank transaction. So that is, is not good. It was for a split second, but there's clearly some truth in it. They've both been silly in this situation. The way they reacted to... It's just... I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. Till now. Like, I've seen beef on YouTube. And we've seen a lot of it even this year. Especially this year. But Logan had him on the show to, like, try and help the situation, like, he's giving him advice, like, if it was my brother, like, he was saying, even though he hates the guy, he would still make peace, I mean, it was like, even though he does hate him, like, he doesn't wish for this to go any further, he wants it to be solved, so maybe Deji did it to get subscribers, not to say that they both planned it, but drama does get viewers, but no, this is not planned, this is something more serious that they need to solve in private, I should probably wait till I finish talking to make noise, but yeah. I hope they solve it, because it, it's not pleasant. It, it, it's not nice to see, because, you know, they can join forces, come on. But KSI apparently will make a diss track too. It can't be good for their parents to see the way this is going. I mean, I don't know, because I, I wouldn't do anything like that on the internet. But for Logan to interview him, that was quite... That I was like, okay, he's got to be mad at his brother to go to the guy that hates his brother. And Logan was just like, yeah! Alright guys, I had to get some water. My throat was just, again, once again going. I need, like, some sort of chamomile tea or something. I don't know. But where were we? Let's find where we were. If my phone will let me in this time. Hopefully it will, because I need it to. <laughs> I've got one of them random phones that just has a mind of its own. Like, I don't know if I'm the only... Am I the only one? I don't know. I'm probably not the only one with a crazy phone. It just doesn't work like it should. But yeah, my advice to Deji and JJ, well, KSI... Just squash the beef. I mean, even if you're trying to make money from it. Just squash the beef. Come on, you know. I mean... Right, what have I clicked? Right. Clicking buttons by mistake here. But they've got to squash the beef. Squ uh, I keep saying that. I've said that too many times. Um, If they don't, I mean, how far can it go? I mean, maybe they just don't get on anyway. And but now it's just over. It's blown over onto YouTube. But I mean, KS, KS, KSI was getting mixed up, put combining their names as one. But yeah, KSI. I mean, over the years he did a lot of drama and seems to always go through it. I mean, but they, him and his brother started together. That's the thing. We started this together, so you know, don't don't take it this way. I mean, it's Christmas, guys. Come on, keep the peace, show the love. Like I said at the beginning, you know, just gotta be nice. Yeah, start with your own family, mate. I mean, what what are you trying to do? Just look like a complete knob, you know. I mean, Deji, I I had no sympathy for in the past. I always thought he was an idiot up until now. I was like, now he's just really hard done by. It's just KSI being the idiot now. 
don't think he's being an idiot. I mean, they're both stubborn as it is. Brothers, what do you want? We're, we're gonna. We're, are we go not gonna argue? No. I mean, me and my brother we just always argue. Speaking of which, him and my cousin went to Italy for my other cousin's wedding. So I miss missing people. There's no one here. There's no one here. I'm all alone. There's no one here besides me. No. <laughs> I'm crazy. Just ignore me. But yeah, just remember it's Christmas. Family's important. You have to be nice to them in general, but really at Christmas as well. It makes people want to be more nice. But like I said at the beginning, some people aren't that fortunate to have people that love them and that I don't know, like understand them in some ways. I'm not saying family understands me. No family understands anyone. Really. But all I can say is Merry Christmas. I don't know if this is the last podcast before Christmas. I know that on iTunes it yeah, they they don't work over Christmas because there's real people that review the videos. But on YouTube it'll be here, don't worry. Um a few quite a few more vlogs. I'm gonna keep vlogging as much as I can. Not quite vlogmas, but as good as it gets. As good as it gets. Uh more more videos to come. I wanna do like a yearly like a year review kind of of what's been going on in my life and and, and probably in the news and what you know, in in life, in the world, in society, in the the big world that is out there, the good and bad, there's been a lot that's gone on, yeah, so let's just talk about that for a minute, I mean, we've had a difficult year in the news, you know, there's been, I mean, look at Mark Zuckerberg, you know, he was in court, wow, who cares, <laughs> it's bigger issues, you know, all those forest fires, that, those kids stuck in that cave in Thailand, I mean, that that was just crazy. That was amazing they got out. I was just happy for that to be over. And then they were at the World Cup, I think. It was during the World Cup that it happened. And, yeah, I'm probably missing a lot of stuff. But there's been loads of memes, too, like more random stuff. I mean, the guy with the big neck, have you seen him? And then the guy with the really long neck. They're like best mates. <laughs> um, and, yeah, we had some some losses this year, didn't we? RIP, X Tentacion. Um, yeah, Stanley, R.I.P. Stanley. I'm probably missing something out, but it's been a long year, a tough year, personally as well. Um, as you probably know, watching the vlogs, it's part of life, though. And you just have to roll with the punches in some ways, or try to. It's never easy to. Um, and we lost our cat, didn't we? So we've had this, all this decorating going on now. But I'm remembering to earlier in the year the, some of the vlogs I made. In the snow I made a vlog, that was fun. Um, so many football matches I've been to. Um, so many in the last year. Probably thinking of the year before now. But yeah, last Christmas on the vlog, <laughs> it was a bit messed up really. I had so many delays and remember I bought that new camera? If you watch the vlogs that is. Anyway guys, those of you who, who don't see the vlogs, I got this new camera. And it didn't work, literally. It wasn't compatible with the software I use, or with my computer, or with any of the SD cards I had. And I, I'm not going to get into it, because it just stressed me out again. But I'm looking at it down here, it's still here. In its box. I was trying to sell it, but nobody wanted it. <laughs> and It wasn't any better than the GoPro, I'll be honest. I thought it would be, and the sound was terrible. The visuals were terrible. <laughs> what it could do is zoom in more, and zoom out, which is easier for me. As opposed to lugging around a big DSLR camera to every game. Every Tottenham game, that is. Um, and yeah, I went earlier in the year I went to the Kendrick Lamar concert in February, that was. I also went to see g -E -Z, and a lot's happened since then. I had my, my new cousin over for that. My uncle who got married, basically. His, his wife has a, has a daughter and she's like our cousin now. So we, and our adopted cousin. So yeah, we took her to the g -Z concert. They came over for that. That was a good weekend. 
but yeah, no, they came over last November as well. And they're coming over for Christmas again. They've got relatives from my dad's side of the family coming from Milan as well. But it's been a big year. You know, all the, think of what's been big for you this year and like in a good way. And the things you've learned from, the ne- negative stuff that you've been through this year. Probably a lot of it, for me anyway. I mean, it's just that mental thing. Like, the biggest enemy is yourself sometimes. I mean, every day at some point or at least every week is a day where I just have a lot of self-doubt and disbelief. Like, like, what am I doing with my life? Like, every day. Even though I am doing stuff and I'm doing these videos. You know, I just have, you know, because YouTube isn't, it's not an everyday thing. Like, it is. I mean, it is, but it's not like an office job where you go there every day. You know? It doesn't feel like that. I mean, I need to get out more, basically. And my brother started this new job and he's always working till at least six. Gets up in the morning early. Some days he has to get up at f- like five. Some days he has to get up at maybe eight. I mean, he has to be there by eight, sorry. It's always early start for him. So that's been... It's been difficult to get out as much because I normally go out with him. Like, we normally go out if we're going to the pub or something. Not like Deji and KSI. <laughs> Um, we're closer than that, um, but it's been difficult, um, my cousin who lives nearby, he's been here, what, 18 months now, more than a year, he's been in England, um, and he's finally achieving his dream of being a personal trainer, or getting there anyway, and he's learned a lot of English, like, his English is really good, came straight from the same town my dad's from, in Italy, and just, I mean, so yeah, him and my brother are just in Italy for till the 19th, I think, around that time. Because there's a wedding that I could have gone to, but like, logistics, getting me over there with the chair and everything, it's just, you know, in life you can always say, oh yeah, I'm going for sure. But you never know. I mean, my parents are busy as well. They're not going anyway, so... And my cousin who's getting married doesn't mind, really. Well, you, you, I mean, they've got enough guests. <laughs> you, you would hope... That, yeah, they're not going to miss me too much. Well, they are, of course. Of course they are. Who isn't going to miss me at a wedding like that? I mean, I'm the life of the party, literally. Everyone will be, be dancing, like, you know, like when you all hold hands and you know, walk around in a circle or, or dance around in a circle. It's like an Italian thing. I'll be in the middle doing donuts, spinning around. I mean, there was a time when I wouldn't do that and I was really shy. Like, it stopped, I mean, that stopped on my 18th. From then onwards, like, every party, I'm just in the middle of the dance floor. I don't care who I run over. Like, if you're in my way, you're getting run over. If I don't see you, you're getting run over. If I see you, you're getting run over anyway. Or you're not. It's just awkward. Like, if you're dancing with a girl and you run them over, it's like, oh, sorry. I just injured all your toes um, and ruined your, your lovely high heels. Or broken them. That's what I normally do. <laughs> Italian weddings are another level. And don't think my brother's going there just for that. He's got um, basically other fam- our other fa- side of the family in a different town. He's going there as well for uh, for um, not 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 a f- more than a friend. Let's just say that I'm, I'm always getting him in trouble, like talk- talking gossip. But that's what I do. <laughs> um, it's fun. But yeah, I hope you've had a a year that you've learned from. Everyone's like New Year's resolutions every year. Just be a better you. from Like every day. Don't wait for the new year. Every day say I'm going to be better than I was yesterday. I'm going to do something and grow something that was there yesterday. And today I want to improve that. Just think of it that way every day. I mean, I've had a lot of parachute football over the year. I mean, I think back to March. I was ill for like three or four weeks, four or five weeks, even more, like really ill, like cold and flu. And I missed, I was in the middle of all the snow and I missed an, like a weekend in Nottingham. And I was really downhearted after that. And it was, it was diff- difficult New Year because everyone was ill at different times. It was just cold. It's cold again. It's like one degree to get today. It's the coldest day. Um, but I'm getting geared up for Christmas. Always... I feel like I get ready for Christmas too late. Like, I'm looking, it's already the 13th today as I'm recording this. 
I mean, you know what I mean? The fa all the family arrive on the tw 20th, the first lot anyway. So the party starts then. My brother gets back on the 19th, two days of work for him. And then he's off till 2nd of January. So it's going to be a great holiday in that sense. Um, I just hope you guys can maybe... And if you're not saying the same about your holiday, I mean, just have faith, guys. you got to have faith. Like George Michael once said, it would be two years since his passing, by the way. But yeah, just have faith in what you're doing. I mean, when I made my last video, I got a message from a mate saying how it inspired him, and I was just taken back. Emotional, some might say. I'm a, I'm a soppy geezer sometimes. Get a bit soppy. <laughs> and that can be a criticism. Like my brother would be like, why, why, why are you saying weird stuff all the time? You're so weird, you know. Just stop talking. That's what he said. <laughs> and um, on that note, I probably am going to stop talking. So guys, that is my cue to shut up. And to leave you with your lives for now, keep getting inspired, keep inspiring others, be nice to people, house the unhoused, <laughs> be nice to homeless people, you know. Um, don't get in a fight with your brother like KSI and Deji. Don't put it on YouTube, that's for sure. Put a dislike on YouTube Rewind. Like, hopefully, on this video, not a dislike. <laughs> Do what you want. Leave a comment, say, hey, I enjoyed your video, or I didn't. You should be on YouTube Rewind next year. So, yeah, on that note, write a letter to YouTube. Tell them that Louise21 needs to be on YouTube. And on that note, the shopping has arrived. So, take it easy, fam. Peace. <laughs>